The dead police can see through your lips moving. A cubist horror story in twelve hexagons. Your upper lip. A precy. Twelve more hexagons. One eye too. Your jaw curling in a porous crescent through an obscure glass wall in a thin blue diamond. The diamond spinning like a bust clock. Backwards like a second hand. A rotating inflammation. Peripatetic through hexagons one, two, three, four, five, then dropping back in exhaustion, your jaw, into hexagon eight, in a quaver of effluent. Eight I two, a skateboard, then eleven, and then twelve. But twelve I two is out of order, a blind disc fronting an empty plug, a square of grey wall in a sudden smear from twelve I two to ten I two and out, up through a ring of eyelashes into seven like a sunrise, a clotted shard of grey butter like a balloon, seven I two, and throughout the eye, as the rotating inflammation, that obscurantist spike, snaps and whirls through the outer cells, judgments and executions are taking place in every hexagon, in every cell. Hexagon 2I2, 2I2, three teeth all changing places, from one to three upending so the roots protrude like fins, fins chewing through a slick mezzanine of manubrial gum. Then three to one, in reverse, on the cusp of hexagon 6I2, the inner panel, the cover story, your alibi in a circle of hairs, a despotic, languorous yellow button like a balloon sags in the inner panel, the eyes take their ball home. 3i2 is 9i2 upside down. A stalactite of enlarged bristles in a point moves through hexagon 3i2 and as it flicks back it hooks your upper lip in a pink crease and a little semicircle of muscle hardens into a pouch. Look at me! And in hexagon 9i2 a complementary stalactite of pulverised bristles mashed into kind of a spire and then bent to a rough point flicks forward suddenly unbuttoning your lip and it sort of shears off. In this sense, the slack is picked up by 9i2 in lieu of the indisposed base hexagon.